Wow, guys, today I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy. I have two, two good news that I'll share with you today. Yes, numero uno, two good news. First, let me introduce myself because someone watching me might be the first time coming on my channel. My name is Niai, aka Ganyubi. Yes, I live in Ghana. I do video promoting Ghana and Africa because I believe it's high time Africa has to have a voice in the world so welcome to my channel as i said today i have two good news to share with you and first of all the first news that i'm sharing with you is that the family is growing yes we are really growing i quite remember the first day that i did my video <laughs> it's terrible I'll, if you can go through my videos you share i was so if afraid of the camera i wasn't able to express myself well but i know i've grown up because you guys were there for me, you supported me, people joined the family. And today, as I speak to you, I'm proud to tell you that we've gotten a 10K subscribers followership. And I thank you so much. Thank you so much. I wouldn't be celebrating this thing without you. Because I always say, without you guys, I don't have a channel. Because you are the ones that are supporting me. Thank you so much. And keep on supporting and let's grow. By the end of this year, Let's pray we hit over 100,000 subscribers. All right, so back to the main reason why we are here today. The last video that I shared on my channel was on how Africans were being ill treated, the impunity upon blacks in China just because of COVID 19. And we all know that COVID 19 is not a problem of Africa, and it's not Africa who brought it up. But blacks in China are facing and are going through a lot of things to the extent that they are now homeless and sleeping on the street. And you know, it's high time I always say Africa, we need to have a voice because we, our leaders, it's, it's a problem sometimes, you know, because there are a lot of things that they are supposed to do that they don't do. I don't know. I am not there. I, I just don't know. Sometimes I keep asking myself a lot of questions that why, what is happening? Just a simple act of standing in, coming in for your people in foreign lands. We hear nothing. You don't see anyone going on their rescue. And you don't see the leaders coming out to issue, an, uh, issue a statement or talk about it. And it looks like Africans in foreign lands are irrelevant. Let something happen here in Africa or any part of the world. You see U.S going there to stand in for their people. You see other countries going there to stand in and fight for their people. But why? What is happening for we Africans? It looks like we don't have fathers. Let, let, me, let me classify our leaders as fathers, yes. So I talked about the video and pushed it on my channel which you guys all saw. But today, I'm so proud that yes, our leaders are now hearing our voice, yes. They are listening to us. They are listening to our cry. The good news I'm sharing with you, a Nigerian ambassador official has been able to stand in to the extent that he challenged those Chinese people who were doing those impunity and those acts of inhuman to our people. To the extent that he was able to issue words and collect even their passport back. The COVID-19 started in Wuhan, China. How do you know that? We started in Wuhan, How do you know that? China. Do you, are you sure it's from Wuhan? Yes. Please show me. I, I, I will send it to you. Yeah. I will send it to you. However. Even, even the professor however, and the scientist didn't say it's from Wuhan. However. And you are the expert? You said when you are talking, I didn't talk. Let me give you the answer. When Chinese travel to Nigeria at that time, I should have given you for a so These are the people that are living in China. They are not the businessmen. So that is one thing. All the people that is business. Are they students? Are you students? They are in here. They have been here in China. You don't need to ask one question. They are here in China. They are not the businessman. That's why I'm telling you when you are saying money or life. They are here in China. They are doing their business in China. They are here. That is one. Two, all the people from Nigeria that came for business, they are entitled to go for 14 days quarantine. 
in line with what you sent to us as your policy. We agree with you. Now, government, we have. With that. All these people, when they pay the 14 days quarantine fee, where they did the quarantine, they give them a paper of release. Why are they still giving them another 14 days quarantine again? It's not acceptable. Okay, it's. The first one, yeah. 14 days, the first 14 days is acceptable by us. Another 14 days, you didn't communicate to us that you are going to do another 14 days after 14 days. They have tested negative and then they have given them the paper. Why are they giving them another 14 days? That is what. Two, all the police, the government, this passport belongs to the federal government of Nigeria. In line with international practice, no any country have the right to see the international passport of another country. Hey! 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 And then you know your deputy. Oh no, I've got many power. No, no, I've got many All the passports of Nigeria they seized. Asking, it was released yesterday. Why are they seizing Nigeria passports? It's not enough to decide. They have seized Nigeria passports. It's like you are seizing Nigeria as a whole. It's not acceptable. Why are they seizing Nigeria as a whole? That's another thing. The third one I'm going to tell you. You didn't communicate to us. That you are going to go to all the Nigerian houses and then you are going to ask them to come out and go and quarantine them. Did you communicate to us? No. Nobody communicated to us. If you want to do your policy on 14 days, mm -hmm. shut down everybody. Don't discriminate. Mm -hmm. Everybody you sit at home, everybody, including Chinese, Hello? including Nigeria. Including everybody, including you as a He was like, no. And I love the words that he was saying. To the extent he said, no, you guys have no right to do this. No any country have the right to see the international passport of the another country. I was so happy and so proud. I was like, yeah, this man, I don't know your name, but wherever he is, you know, he has made us proud. He has made Africa feel like now we have voice because when there's trouble we know our leaders will come and we are praying that with this kind of acts other african leaders or official or people who are in high authority will take this initiative and also start being there for us i have the video i don't want to talk much let's go have a watch of the video and please don't forget to comment you know i always reply to all the comments that come in so if you want to tell me something, you can put in your comments. Share with us. Let, let, let's, let, let me share your mind with me. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video for me. Until then, my name has always been Ni Ayi, a.k.a. Danny B, the guy from Ghana who tells stories. See you then on my next episode. Ola Bao. Let's go have a watch of this video. It's not acceptable. These are the things I'm telling you. You need to talk to all this. Everyone is recording. Everyone is recording. They should stay there. If they want to record. Everyone is recording. That is not acceptable to the federal government of Nigeria. In Nigeria, as I mentioned to you last time, we have a lot of Chinese there. I don't think you have ever received any information. That the government of Nigeria go to their various houses and pick them and quarantine them. You can never receive such information. Why is Africa and indeed in Nigeria being targeted? We have European people here. We have people from America. We have people from other countries. We have people from Spain. We have people from Italy. The population of they are not in my eyes. They are not in my eyes. I just withdraw it from there. They see me. You have them. I said they see me. And then you know the deputy. Oh no, I've come here. The deputy general. All the passports of Nigeria they see. Asking, he was released yesterday. Why are they seizing Nigeria passport? It's not belong to the China. If you seize Nigeria passport. 
is like you are treating Nigeria as a whole. It's not acceptable. That's another thing. The third one I'm going to tell you, you didn't communicate to us that you are going to go to all the Nigerian houses and then you are going to ask them to come out and go and quarantine them. Did you communicate to us? No. Nobody communicated to us. If you want to do your policy of 14 days, mm -hmm. shut down everybody. Don't discriminate. Mm -hmm. Everybody you sit at home, everybody, including...